Welcome back to another Project Rebirth review. Today we're going to take a look at another figure in the Spinmaster 4-inch line. This time one I'm really excited about, Man Bat. Taking a look at the front of the box, we can see the logo, the Cape Crusader. And in the upper right hand corner, a hologram that says first edition. And here's a look at the back of the box. On the upper left hand side, it says Creature Chaos. Below that, a picture of the figure. And on the right hand side, it says which mission will you get? Showing four different locations. Uh, the top one being Amusement Mile, the bottom being Arkham Asylum, and then two other city scenes. Okay, let's open this figure up and see what accessories we get. Taking a look at box number one. Get a claw. So hopefully there's one more in one of these other boxes. Hey, what a shocker. Another claw. And let's check out the third box. Sorry, it's stuck. All right, a very cool gun, uh, reminiscent or nearly identical, just a different color to the one that Nightwing has. Um, Nightwing's was silver metallic, so that looked a little bit cooler than this, but uh, this is a very nice accessory. And then there is the figure itself. Along with the figure, there's an uh, insert that shows the different type of figures that you can get, um, or different variations. And this is the man bat we got here that comes with the blaster gun. And then over here, you can see that there's another variation of a man bat that comes with the shield piece for this Batman right here. So that would be the rare variation. Obviously, we didn't get that. Um, I guess they're thinking that some people might keep buying the figure till they get that that piece I, I certainly wouldn't buy a second one But I think that may be the thought behind it or it's just a, a special treat if you get that rare uh, armor equipment But uh, we didn't get it and that's fine On the reverse side of that package insert we can see the four locations uh, that were uh, hinted at on the back of the box number one being carnival chaos number two harbor defender number three sky detective and number four, Arkham Asylum Escape. Okay, so here's the figure out of the box. I just want to show you that the, the wings come uh, not attached to the figure. All right, so here's the figure with the wings attached. And this really just is a beautiful work of art. Well done, Spin Master. With regard to the gun accessory, in the left hand it doesn't fit very well. Um, so it is kind of loose. But it can fit better in the figure's right hand. And basically what you need to do is get that trigger hooked right under the, the index finger there, and that will hold that uh, tightly. And as far as these claws go, you can see what that looks like. That just snaps right over the figure's wrist. Like that. Let's take a 360 look at Mambat. Let's take a quick look at articulation. The figure's head can rotate all the way around, not that you'd want to do that. Arms can extend to above 90 degrees. Bend at the elbow to a little bit less than 90 degrees. Uh, or I don't know, pretty close. Pretty close to 90 degrees. No movement at the wrist. No waist rotation. The legs can kick up till about there. 
no movement at the knee, but there is a, a cut at the upper thigh for rotation there. So again, all in all, for a figure this size, not bad. For scale comparison, here is Man Bat alongside the Rebirth Tactical Batman on the right, and the Batman figure that came with the Bat Cycle on the left-hand side. Uh, that gun does not come with that Batman figure, but I think it pairs well. And here's Man Bat alongside the Spin Master Nightwing and Robin. For comparison purposes, here's Man Bat alongside Clayface. Clayface uh, coming with the three-figure set, um, which was the Bat Cycle, Batman, and Clayface. A review of that set is on my channel as well. And just for fun, here's Man Bat on the Bat Cycle. All right, so here's my final thoughts with regard to the Spin Master's 4-inch Man Bat. Overall, I think this is an outstanding figure. I love the details, and it photographs really, really well. Um, no real complaints there. I, I do have some just some puzzled questions about the accessories. For example, why does Man Bat need a, a gun, number one? And um, secondly, why does it have Batman's logo on the gun? <laughs> Did Batman make a, a gun for Man Bat to, to use against him? I don't know. And as you can see... Man Bat has very nice claws by himself, so why does he need Wolverine type um, razor edge claws? Another question. But the bottom line is it's a Spin Master figure and it needs three mystery accessories, and these are just as good as any else. But uh, nothing about that would keep me from buying this figure. It is really a lot of fun, and probably the, the Spin Master figure that I was looking forward to the most getting out of the box, and I'm not disappointed whatsoever. So, should you buy this Spin Master 4 inch Man Bat? Absolutely, hell yes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Project Rebirth review.